The Australian Army has conducted a live fire test of the AS-9 Huntsman self-propelled howitzer in South Korea. The trial served as preparation for the Army's future AS-9 units based on the South Korean K-9 Thunder 155mm howitzers that will be delivered by weapons developer Hanwha Defence Australia. The AS-9 is part of Australia's Land 8116 initiative, which seeks new protected mobile fire systems by combining locally made 155mm shells with cannons procured from partner countries. Once deployed, the AS-9s will complement the government's existing M777 towed artillery and associated systems. During the test, the Australian Army evaluated the AS-9's performance and safety by firing three rounds of artillery from the platform. While we know in isolation the K-9's cannon is safe, and in isolation the ammunition is safe, this testing makes sure they are compatible, Land 8116 Project Team's Major Brendan Kelleher stated. Further trials will be carried out to collect ballistics data for operating the AS-9 using the Army's Advanced Field Artillery Tactical Data Systems. Other demonstrations will focus on the AS-9's protection from small arms fire and shrapnel. Meanwhile, a parallel AS-9 trial from Israel showed that the AS-9 could also withstand landmines through a simulated charge explosion. Results from the test will be used to ensure required troop protection and survivability. The feedback we're getting from other users is they are impressed by the maturity and ease of use of the platform, Kelleher said. It is a big increase in range and lethality from the in-service towed howitzer, made possible by the longer cannon and higher rates of fire. The AS-9 order was signed in December 2021 by Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison and South Korean President Moon Jae-in and is valued at 1 billion Australian dollars, 669 million dollars. Hanwha is performing the work for the contract in Greater Geelong, Victoria, while partner firm Elphinstone is manufacturing AS-9 hulls and turrets in Burnie, Tasmania. After the production, the company will deliver the first two AS-9s and the corresponding AS-10 armored ammunition resupply vehicle by the end of 2025. Development of the remaining 42 vehicles will commence in late 2024.